Hi. Today I wanted to look at making some minor changes to the sound of a guitar to kind of dial it in the way that you might prefer. Just as an example, this guitar has two humbucking pickups that can also be coil tapped or coil split with this push-pull switch right here. We're mainly looking at the humbucking sounds today. And pickups have two ways to adjust them. The You can raise and lower the height of the pickup with these little screws right here. One screw on each side. So you can, you can kind of tilt it to emphasize the lows or the highs a little bit. Lowering it will decrease the sensitivity a little bit. Raising it will make it slightly louder or increase the sensitivity. But it also has little adjusting screws on one of the coil bobbins. The other one has what they call slugs, non-adjustable hole pieces. So we're going to look at that today and see what happens. Right now, I've got a clean kind of a fender amp style setting right now. Basic, basic tones. Neck pickup. Controls are all the way up. Bridge pickup. So going between the two, bridge, neck, bridge, neck, 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 bridge, I would like to get just a little bit more evenness between those two. Right now I'm feeling the bridge pickup is a little brighter than I like. So I am going to lower the treble side of that pickup a little bit. Not bad. The neck pickup to me seems a little boomier. So I'm going to try lowering the base side of the pickup a little bit. So I'm still, I still feel like the neck pickup is overpowering the bridge pickup a little bit. So I'm going to lower the neck pickup just a little bit more. 
both sides about a half a turn. Neck pickup, bridge pickup. Neck, bridge. Neck, bridge. What I'm hearing right now, I'm, I think, seems to be a little bit more even than what I'm looking for. I personally do not like a super hot bridge pickup. I just want a different sound. I can get more volume and things by using different pedals on my pedal board. I can use a little bit of an overdrive. I can use I can boost a distortion, things like that. So I can get more volume if I want to instead of going to a different pickup. I want a different sound, not really a different output when I'm using the controls on my guitar. I can get different outputs by using the volume knob, volume control. If I turn it halfway down, it's very low. Bring it up, and I've got it. You know, turn it down. And I can just, you know, bring it right up if I need to. So it, it takes just a half a second to dial the volume back or increase it, you know, with the volume control. That's why I like a volume control pretty close to the bridge pickup. It's, it's nice and easy to reach. I do like one volume control on my guitars versus two, just personal preference. Um, I, I just like to use one. Now, what I'm going to try and do is dial in some sounds a little bit. I'm going to bump up the second screw just a little bit. I'm taking the, and I'm counting from the bottom up. I took the third screw and I pushed, I, I turned it a quarter turn in. This one seems to be a little bit lower than the others. I'm going to bump that up about a quarter turn. Whoops. and the bass string about a quarter turn up. Let's see how that sounds.
Now, dial in neck pickup. I'm going to bring the highest, the first screw up a quarter turn. I'm going to lower the second screw a quarter turn. Doesn't take much. Just a quarter turn. If I can get it. And I'm going to lower the fourth screw up a quarter turn. Actually, that was about an eighth of a turn. So, I'm liking what I'm hearing on that neck pickup. Let's listen to that bridge pickup again. Neck. Bridge. Whoops. Neck. Bridge. And then rolling the volume off just a little tiny bit on that bridge and rolling it back, back down again, takes just a little tiny bite out of the sound so you can mellow it that way. You can also roll 
the tone control down just a little bit. a bit. Up. Down. 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 I'm guessing that this has uh, a treble bleed so that when you roll it back down, It's mainly affecting the lower tones. It, it's still retaining those highs quite well. So, I think that's gotten me a very good start on dialing in the sounds that I'm hoping for on here with the controls all the way up, neck pick up again. Middle pick up. the bridge pickup. Bridge pickup is still a little bit hotter, but it's not bad. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. This is something that I don't think I have ever done is like a little minor setup on a guitar. But it just goes to show that doing very minor adjustments on the pickups, raising the height if you want a little bit more power or oomph behind your pickups, a little more loudness a little more drive to your amp. Tilting it one way or another will emphasize either the highs if you bring the, the, uh, the pickup closest, the side of the pickup closest to the high strings. If you bring that up just a little bit, the highs will be emphasized over the low, lower strings here if you lower the, the bass side. There's a lot you can do with very, very minor tweaks just using a little flathead screwdriver
or a little Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure that the tools that you have fit the size of the screws that you're trying to adjust so that you don't do any damage there. They should fit well. There's a lot of different sizes of screwdrivers. Not only raising the height or raising one side, lowering the other side to dial in sound like that, doing minor adjustments on those pole pieces can also make a big, big difference in your sound and help dial in just the little nuances. It doesn't take much. Most of those adjustments on those pull pieces were a quarter turn. I don't think I turned any of them more than that. Maybe a half a turn, but it, it's, it's very minor. If I show you You look at, at the height on those now. There's not a big difference. You can see a little tiny difference. Not, not much. But just little tiny increments make a big difference in the tone that you can get from your guitar. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And there's a little bell right down over there. Click on that little bell so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. Most of my videos are centered around the Native American style flute. That kind of takes center stage on my channel. Could be a tutorial on how to play the flute. It could be... I, I've done modifications on flutes and how to do that in certain instances. This is the first time I've done any kind of a setup type uh, video on a guitar. The guitar was my first instrument. Um, I've been playing for like 55 years now. Um, this will always be kind of my, my number one instrument. That's probably why I like to play the flute over backing tracks, the flute kind of takes the place for me for vocals in most cases. Sometimes I play the flute solo or over nature type sounds as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.